Good evening and welcome back once again. So we're going to jump into 2K23, which I haven't been playing for a while. When I say a while, I mean like, you know, maybe a week or so. Um, mainly been playing PES, but I thought I'd give this course a try. I've previously played one of um, Rich NUFC's golf courses and I really enjoyed it. And he's released a new one called Hollyborn Golf Club. I think it came out a few days ago. So I'm going to jump in and give it a try. It looks quite interesting, but I've only seen a few screenshots, haven't seen any videos or anything. So, yeah, just thought we'd give that a go and, and see what the course is like. So, on to the first uh, hole of this course. I think the the previous course that I had tried of uh, Rich's was the Lynx course. Um, I think it was called like Port Withick, Port Withick, something like that. Uh, but it was a, a really, really nice Lynx course. And I really enjoyed it, so I was quite happy to see him publish another one. So let's see what the first tee's got to offer. So it's about 4.50 uh, downhill to the to the green. And you've got a nice bunker around about that 300 mark. And then if there's a bit of runoff, you've got one on the left there. So obviously key that we avoid this first bunker on the right. And the wind is going in that direction. Might be a little bit rusty today. But that looks decent. Right. Okay, so it's not too far downhill from here, so that's going to play at about 123 ish. Um, probably put a little bit of spin on. It's not going to turn too much with the wind with it being a pitch shot but yeah I definitely don't want to go off left edge yeah that's fine I'd rather be right side than left especially on the first hole just trying to get uh, get used to it again so 20 foot Uh, it's going to be about a full square, I think, out. It's going to turn. Oh, nice. Nice put to start with. For the first few feet, I thought I'd um, gone a little bit too wide. So onto another par four, and what have we got here? So, again, a fairly straightish fairway, but you've got hazards either side there. Um, quite a tight fairway yeah and with that wind maybe should have put a little bit of drawing just to counter out the wind but I think that should be fine yeah that looks good it is sloping slightly right to left I think the fairway isn't it just a little bit not too bad so yeah nearly, nearly 350 yards of that one so really short shot um, into the green here so this is playing at about 96 I want to say so if I put a bit of loft on some spin wind's not going to do too much hopefully this stops pretty quickly nice Overhead it slightly, but that's fine. I think it's just going to be left edge. Ooh, that's went quite a bit past as well. So that turned a lot more than what it looked like. <clears throat> Was downhill though, so sometimes the turn does take a little bit more. Okay, so first of the par threes, and it's only about 150. This is probably playing about 147. Um, the wind's helping as well, so probably just over the 140 mark. I think I'm going to play it as a 143, but put a fair bit of spin on. Um, And it is all going right or left, so I think I'm going to play towards the centre. It should come just right of the flagstick, I hope. 
Let's hope we've got the distance right though. See that's turning nicely, that's fine. Oh yeah. Come back a bit. Come on. Yeah, that's pretty nice actually. It's not the easiest to put. I think this is gonna be about one grid line. Oh, another nice putt. So misjudged the uh, the second green, the putt, but first and third have been really nice. Okay, so first of the par fives, let's have a proper look at this. So you've got two ways you can go. Now you could potentially go this way, and it looks like you've got a better shot into the green. Um, this way's a little bit easier for the drive. Let me have a look at the left hand way. It is downhill as well though. Hmm. Not sure about this one. Um I think I'm gonna play it the slightly easier drive. Maybe should have put a bit of D left on because of the wind. Now how much have we got? Two sixty four. So even with a three wood, yeah, that's not going to make it. I think I'm actually going to lay up here. Um, yeah. There's no way we're going to get on that green. Just leave a fairly short shot into the green itself. So I've got 57 yards. out to full uh, now the wind won't take too much effect but it still will have a little bit of an impact now I misjudged that oh dear oh, that's a bad shot yeah the wind took way more effect than what I thought I've now been the best at pitches now let's see if we can get closer. I'm normally fairly decent with the chips. Mm, under hit it a little bit. Yeah. Par on a par five is not great, especially if we didn't even have a chance at a birdie. But onto another par four. So what have we got this time? Um you got this sort of bunker area right in the middle of the fairway, so I guess it's a choice of either left or right of that. We could go this way. But there's a tree there, that's probably in the way. Um I'm thinking the left side of the two is a better approach into the into the green. I'm just gonna take a few yards off the driver. it is downhill and the wind's helping I just want to make sure it's nowhere near that ravine over here so yeah I'm glad I did that so we've got a hundred and say 160 um, it's probably playing at about 168 but then with the wind it's probably playing about as is so if I add a little bit of loft and spin that looks pretty good oh a little bit heavy yeah a little bit too much momentum coming in and that's going to be a nasty putt so I'm thinking this is going to be a full square out I think and that's why but again camera angles are terrible in this game sometimes putting cameras Oof, just crept in it 
went a little bit left at the start there, which I didn't uh, see happening. Enjoying the course so far, though. Let's just have a quick look at... just wanted to check something. So, distances, let's have a look. Just want to make sure, yeah, I'm on the white tees, that's fine. So, six, par four. Ooh, a dog leg left. Now, there is an area over here. I don't know if you can potentially get in the green that way or not. It's downhill. Oh, this is really tricky. Um, do I want to go that way? I wonder if I could go that way and get between the trees. No, let's not do that. And I'm thinking of laying up fairly short. Because the fairway does narrow a lot with those bunkers as well. Ooh, that's kicked massively left, and that's going to be in the bunker, is it? Oh, in the heavy rough. Yeah, that's a, that's a tricky fairway. Um. What have we got here? Oh, this is going to be pretty difficult to... Ah, another club up I think would have had to be, yeah. This could be bad. It's a nice splash. If it just stop, 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 stop. That's rolled quite a bit. It's got a really tricky putt for to save that part. Now I think it's going to turn quite quickly at the start, so I think we're going out a full grid line. Oh, it didn't quite turn enough. And that's the first drop shot. Um, really tricky fairway. I mean, even though I laid up, it kicked massively left, so I'm not quite sure what the best tactic is for that one. On to par five, though, so maybe a good chance of, of getting that shot back. So, yep, fairly standard drive. There's a fairly decent area there to aim for. Um, it is downhill. The wind's not really in the best sort of Wait. And it, ooh, slightly miss hit that one, I think. It's fine though. Did add a bit of extra power on purpose to try and force it down here. So, got some good yardage. It's going to be a tricky lie though. We aim slightly left. I know the wind's going right or left, but that lie is going to kick it right to start with. And I think we just go for it. So that wind's going to bring it back around. Now that looks spot on. Kick right a little bit. It has. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Look at that. From the lie where we're on and with the wind. I thought that was going to come back down towards the hole again. But to have an 8 foot chance for, well, a 10 foot chance for an eagle, that's uh, it's about as perfect as you're going to get. Um, not 100% sure if I've got the, uh, the angle right here for the putt. No, that didn't turn at all, and it's drifted quite a bit past. It's a birdie, though. Got that shot would drop back. This point, I didn't give the eagle put the best of chances there. So.
so it's just 217 it's playing at about uh, 222 and then it's probably about 235 I think if I play the wood as is I think that should be fine. Maybe overpower it slightly. The wind should stop it running too much now. I've got enough to get over the bunker. More than enough there. Oh, that's lovely. Keep rolling. Go on, go on. Very nice. Yeah, best shot of the round that was so far. On to the last of the front nine, and um, we've got a par four. And what is this then? Okay. Ooh, the wind's in our face. Um, I think we're gonna have to lay it with that wind. would normally go for that second fairway over there but there's no point of risking it with those bunkers and the wind quite strongly in our face it's about spot on so 200 yards it's going to play about 204 205 maybe about 215 with the wind I think that's about spot on actually this is going to go left a bit the right direction, that's pretty much where I was hoping it would go, especially with that slope very nice downhill putt, but it's not too bad nice, just crept in there you ever noticed um, <clears throat> I don't know if it's just the greens on this, but they're not turning as much as I was thought on on some of them. Um, so I aimed slightly less left than what I thought there. But this is a fairly straightforward looking par four. And just have a look at the direction. Yeah, I think if we aim for the right side of this bunker, it should creep around into the second part of the fairway. It's pretty much spot on. And it should be a relatively short uh, shot into the green. Yeah, so just 117 yards. It's going to play about 120. Um, I think if we maybe put a bit of D loft on this. Yeah, let's just hope it doesn't go too far right. That should be okay. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That's all right. It's not the best shot. Um. I think just about halfway between the grid line and the hole is about right. Go on, turn, turn, turn. Oh, so close. It's the perfect weight and almost the perfect aim, but <clears throat> four under through ten is not bad considering we dropped a shot as well. Okay, so another par four. Is this one that we can go for? I think it is, but that's. Uh, <clears throat> oh, let's have a look actually. So, to get to here is about 294. Now, that wind is shading on being in our face slightly, so I'm not sure. Do you know what? Let's go over it. Go, go, go. 
go keep going as long as it hits the front of the green that should be good very nice aim was pretty good distance is pretty good I've got a shot on an eagle probably a difficult put yeah not the easiest of puts here that's going to swing quite rapidly left so I think almost two full squares out oh close again that's a nice put though left us a, a tap in for a birdie nice enjoying the course so far so thank you very much rich really like this course very very different than the the Lynx course uh, the last one i played port with and uh, which i did really love got another par three here and this one is playing at about sorry i just had to cough there this one is playing at about uh, 177 winds helping a bit so maybe the early 170s I think if we take a little bit off put a bit of spin on aim a little bit further right than maybe what we think because the green is oh I just miss hit that slightly that looks good though just needs to stop got a little bit too much on it with that wind it's going to come back down though feet towards the hole very nice and another birdie so only the one drop shot so far and we're on to the 13th so on to the last third of the hole of the course rather and it's another par 5 now this looks relatively straightforward and the wind is going left to right but you do want it to go down that way so yeah I'm actually going to take advantage of that wind and that looks pretty good I'll kick right a little bit very nice could probably be even a little bit more aggressive and aim further right but I uh, didn't want to risk it too much um, this one's playing about 238 228 with the wind so that's about right he's on a bit of a down slope that looks decent a little bit offline but it might curve a little bit towards a hole nope it's going to stop there which is going away that's okay chance at an eagle again I think this is going to be about a grid line because the greens haven't been turning as much as what I thought and again yep slightly over Drisha, even taking that into account but another birdie not bad 7 under through 13 and we're on to another par 4 here ok so this one is one how far is it directly 348 and it's uphill so this is probably going to one that we need to lay up a little bit uh, well placed bunker on the right there just as you want to sort of lay up I am going to try and fade this in a little bit directly towards that bunker and the wind will straighten it up though yep so that's about spot on if it doesn't take any weird bounces there we go what have we got left so just 113 so that's going to play at about 119 with the uh, 
maybe put a bit of can I play this with D-Loft? D-Loft's not going to take much off is it? So this is just trying to judge how far right to left that wing's going to take it No, that looks good. Maybe a little bit too much spin on it. Yeah. Spin's just taken it there. Didn't quite go right or left enough either. Um, massive putt. You just want to get this one to be within a few feet if you can. Yeah, slightly under hit it, but as long as you've got a, a short tap in for par, that's okay. So on to another par three. This might be the last par three, I'm not sure. Um, this one is playing about eight yards down, so Two or five. It's probably playing about 200 with a wind. I'm going to play it about 197 just for that uh, that runoff as well. I think we'll play a little bit of draw on the left edge of the green. And that's what still went further right than what I thought. That's okay. That's not bad. What about 20 odd foot? 25 foot maybe? Um, 16. Okay. A lot closer than what I thought. Tricky put. I'm going to say this is about a full square out. That went way left. Okay, so we've got three holes left, and this is a par four. So you've got a bunker on the left here, trying to avoid that. Should be able to. Yeah, there's a bunker on the right as well, actually. Is it actually a bunker on the left, or is it just. No, it's not. Sorry, it's not bunker. Um, it's a hazard, though. And you can see got a bunker right in front of where the pin is. So this sh second shot should be interesting. There's, there's not going to be a great lie. Oh, that's a horrendous lie. Um, so this is playing at about 155. But then the wind. Maybe if I put a bit of D loft. So it's not an easy one to aim with that wind, with a lie. I've mishit that slightly. It's not looking too bad. If it just stops, that's pretty good. With that lie in the wind, I'm happy with that. What about 12 foot, maybe? 9 foot? Just short of a grid line, I think. Nope, it was grid line, and that's. Well, I thought that actually went a lot further past. It's had some really good puts to start with, but there's been the odd one where I'm, I, I just can't tell how how it's going to turn. Um, another good chance at a birdie on this one, though. Par five. Maybe put a bit of D loft on this. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have a shot into the green, but yeah, definitely not. Um, can we. 
Yeah, maybe if we can sort of avoid that bunker. Get it in the fairway. Fairly decent shot at the green. Yeah, a nice short uh, pitch or something in there. Lies pretty decent. 80 yards. Yeah, I'm not going to actually do anything with the loft or anything like that. Hopefully it'll run a tiny bit when it lands. Maybe a little bit of D-loft would have done. I think this is going to be just short of a full square. Very nice. That's a better put. Nice birdie on the last par five. And now we've got a par four. That's a nice view. Um, if I can. Got this like the clubhouse over there. What have we got in terms of the fairway? So, relatively large fairway. You could go left edge left side of the fairway and have a nice shot into there or you can go the right side what are we going to do um, ooh. I'm thinking of going over the right side now what are we like for distance there ok so I'm going to Take a few yards off the driver. The wind will, should stop it pretty quickly as well. Yes, we're going to be nowhere near that fair. Uh, the, the rough on the side of the fairway. Oof, terrible light. Um, I think we're going to go for a flop. Now, this lie is horrendous, so the wind's not going to do too much, but the actual lie will. And that's okay, bit of spin. Not bad, not bad. And this would be a nice way to finish off birdie for 900. Turn. Oh, it didn't turn. Did not turn at all there. So we'll tap in for part. A pretty decent 8 under. I really enjoyed that. Certainly very different than the last course of Riches that I played. Um, what I'll do is I'll, in the description below, I'll leave a link to Riches' Twitter page. Um, but please go and check out the course. Really enjoyed it. I think I'll definitely play that one again. And as you can see in the top right, it's Hollybourne Golf Club. Check out more of Richard's stuff as well. He's done some decent courses, at least the one that I've played. Really, really love the Lynx course, uh, Port Withick. That's one of my favourites I've played. Very different than the typical courses that you, you normally see on this game, at least from what I've seen. I, I don't think you see anywhere near as many Lynx courses as, as I would like, so it was really nice playing that. But, yeah, thank you very much for uh, joining once again. If you can leave a like, that would be much appreciated. Drop a comment down below any other courses that you may have played that you like. Um, I'm very happy and open to suggestions for different courses. Most of these that I've found are either through Twitter or recommendations um, rather than me finding them on the actual game. But thank you very much for joining once again and hopefully I'll see you all soon. Cheers.